Lately, I've been starting a lot of my recent videos by backing the boat into the water, but uh, as you guys saw from one of my most recent videos, my trolling motor is totally shot. So it's currently in the shop right now, but that's not stopping me from getting out of the water and doing some fishing. I'm on one of my favorite Texas bodies of water right now. I've got three rods with me, a backpack full of camera gear, and some fishing lures, and I'm gonna hit it from the bank today. I'm pretty excited. I started my channel by doing a lot of bank fishing, and uh, I just wanna keep that uh, persona up. I'll never not bank fish. Any any opportunity I can catch some big fish from the shore is an opportunity I'm willing to take. So um, yeah, I've got a specific spot in mind. It's kind of a Hail Mary spot that I wanna fish. It may be good, it may not be good, but we're at the very least gonna give it a shot today. And if that's not good, I can at least fish all the main lake stuff. Hopefully I can get out there and crank some fish. If I catch one fish today, I'm a happy angler, but uh, we'll see, give it our best. Get you guys acclimated as to what I'm dealing with today. I am fishing a pretty big lake today. It's a lake I've caught some nice fish out in the past. Current temp, air temp that is, 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Should get up to 62, but you never know with that. Five to 10 mile per hour winds, which won't affect me at all from the bank. It's not like I'm fishing from the boat today. And it's fairly overcast. It looks like we have some rain in the distance too. So I'm gonna try to hustle the spot as fast as I possibly can. Here's the kicker. The spot that I wanna fish is probably about four freaking miles away from where I'm at right now. I've got quite the adventure ahead of me right now. I got about a four mile walk through rocks, brush, all kinds of junk. I'm thinking if I get here uh, with the weather being really good right now, I can find some fish. I also smell some fucking weed too. So I'm curious as to where uh, that's coming from. Oh, right there, Fuck yeah. Hell yeah, bro. What's that? I'm doing well, how you guys doing? You guys catching them? Oh, nice. I'm hoping to find a few. Good luck to y'all. It was so funny. I was back there like talking to you guys on the GoPro. I'm like, damn, it smells like weed, like strong ass weed. I'm like, this is weird. Like I'm in the middle of the forest. No one's out here. Sure enough, I turn to my left. As I'm saying the word weed, these guys are like right next to me smoking it up. Just chilling on the bank. I love it. Yeah, but like I was saying, man, I got a freaking long walk ahead of me. Thankfully, the water's down right now so I can walk along the bank. And I don't have to like full on Indiana Jones weed whack it. But at the very least, it's uh, you know a little bit easier than having to bring out the machete and get to working on this brush. I like that, I like that. This is quite the adventure. I did not foresee it to be this complicated. Oh God, oh God. Jeezy Pete, hopefully I got my tetanus shot. Fucking hey, look at all this metal. Yikes. What is that all about? Holy nugget, are just fishing here? That would be nuts. I am lost right now. I'm extremely lost. So where does this trail go? This is not, <laughs> this is not what I thought it was. I no, thought it was something completely different. Well, this is, uh, this is fairly unfortunate, I suppose. So there's a fence there, but I have no idea which side of the fence I'm on right now. I'm just on a trail. Hopefully I don't get shot. I have no idea where I'm at. This is where ambition and stupidity start to bleed over and poor decisions are made. Ah! See, that's where I'm trying to go. Like, I need to get over there. And the reason why I popped up on this trail is to maybe decrease my time to this spot, but I'm starting to realize that maybe some of this land is not public around this public lake. I don't know, I'm just gonna keep taking this trail. Very confusing. I'm about two miles deep right now. I, uh, I I think this is public land. I was a little worried, but I did see some trail signs that said like it's an equestrian trail or some goofy stuff like that. So I think I'm good. I, uh, I just wasn't 100 sure because while this is while this lake is public, that doesn't always mean that the land around it is necessarily the same. So we're getting close to the spot. Another probably hour and a half. We should be there. I'm feeling good. I just want one bite today, you guys. That's all I'm looking for. Watch this. 
just kind of oh my goodness imagine doing a face plant right into that for those of you guys who don't know those are all fire ants and uh just one of those guys is enough to make you squeak a little bit in pain like these guys are worse too because the little they are the harder they are to remove um actually now that i'm thinking about it, i probably should be so close they like to sneak their way into your boots and it's not fun. It's probably one of the only things I hate about Texas. There's just so many fire ants around here. Okay, another update. I'm about a half mile away. We're getting very close. I can smell the bass. I am so freaking close to the spot. I'm just hoping that it's not fenced off once I get there, but uh, we are getting very close. I'm feeling it. That walk, I want to definitely measure it when I'm done fishing today, but that walk was definitely more than what I told you guys. It, it uh, yeah, I just need to work out more. Let's just leave it at that. But we're here and that's what matters. Oh. Nah, let's go crank them now. Let's go freaking just mess them up. This creek looks so epic. I didn't get a chance to fully fish this last week, but when I was on the boat, I scoped it out and I made a mental note to come back here because it looks so freaking gnarly. Okay, I don't know if there's actually fish in the top portion of the creek, but I know below it, there's some fish to be caught. Super clear water, so I gotta be as stealthy as I possibly can. Whoa, this creek looks sick. I have no clue if there's actually fish up here, but I'm just gonna try it out just see test the waters literally Billy. Oh, fuck. What was I thinking? Oh, my God. He's chasing it. Oh, my God. He was chasing it. He was chasing it. Oh, my goodness. He was chasing it. He wanted that jig so badly. Oh, my God. I called it. I threw it over a tree, and I'm like, I guarantee I'm going to get a bite. There was a fish just howling at it, just freaking chasing the swim jig down. Oh, my God. Of course that happened. Of course that happened. Of course that just happened. That did not look like a small fish at all. Oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I wonder if you guys even got a glimpse of that. That was so messed up. I, like I threw it way, way over and I like got it over too many branches and I was like, okay, there we go. Now we're good. That was so psycho. Why didn't he eat it? If he would've eaten, I probably would've, I don't know. I probably would've lost him. That was pretty cool though. Like I gotta admit, like even though I, I didn't get that fish, that was wild. Anyway, let's uh, segue into the lure that I'm using. <laughs> I'm starting to realize there's not as many fish back here as I thought, it's still fairly early. Um, but one lure I like to throw this time of year in the back of creeks is just a swim jig. This is a 3 8 ounce bait buffet swim jig. It's in like a watermelon, or it's actually it's like a green pumpkin blue fleck. I don't even know what you'd call this in the back, of course, I got the bandita bug with some chartreuse dye. And that was my first, like, I'd like to call it a bite, but it technically wasn't a bite. It was like my first follower sign of life of the day. And I've been fishing this whole creek thus far without any success. I was actually about to dip and try another spot, but uh, I think I think that's the sign. I just need to keep working this grass. It looks good, man. Like, I don't know why there's not a lot of fish here. Oh my God, right into the tree. I did not mean to do that. That might be a, a goner. That's a goner. Okay, well that was short-lived. Swim jig is gone. No more swim jig. We're done with the swim jig, I guess. See you later, swim jig. It was fun fishing with you. I really enjoyed that. We almost had a fish together, but, oh wow, what was that noise? Ooh, she came back. I don't know how I got that thing back, but she's back. I'm gonna try a little swim bait. I'm gonna switch my, my deal up here and, and step outside my comfort zone. Did that hook bend? <laughs> no, it didn't. That's funny. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try something different. Oh, there's a bass right there. There's a bass right there. Okay, this spot might actually have some fish. Okay, oh, he just spooked off. It's okay, bud. We're chill, we're chill. I didn't think this creek had any fish in it, and I'm like about to leave. I just did that little monologue, and I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. I just want to check it out real quick, and there's a bass right on the bank. I'm gonna torque my swim bait out there. See if I can't get a, a chomp. The water's crystal clear. I gotta really be stealthy about this. I can't believe I just saw a bass. That was not a small one either. It's pretty good. Fudge me, man. Holy smokes, this could be a game changer, you guys. 
This is why you never underestimate a spot. I totally did in this case. Like I really thought for sure there was nothing in this tiny creek, but I, I'm glad I looked. They don't want the swim bait. I'm gonna go finesse on them. Thankfully, I brought a spinning rod with me. Got the 7.3 rigged Phantom. This is my number, man. This is my freaking jam. If a rod was a jam, this would be it. Be like 100% organic, free range jam. All right, let's do this. Let's, let's freaking torque on them. I did not walk freaking t five miles back here for nothing. Like, screw that. One little bass in this pool. Oh, that's a fucking nice one. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm praying to God he does not see me. It's like a three pounder in a little tiny creek. Oh my God, I cannot believe there's a bass that big in this little ass creek. Oh, he just bite it? I think he has it. I don't know what just happened there, but that felt weird. There is a big bass in this little pool right here. Oh no, he was on that. That that fish was, he was on that bait. That bass does not see me yet. He was on that bait the entire time. He had no idea I was over here. Here he comes. Oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. I got him, oh my gosh, that's a giant bass. Oh my gosh, he's got it. Oh my gosh, there's a giant bass, don't come off. Don't come off, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose this fish, it's a good fish. Oh my God, am I recording? I hope I am. Don't come off, that is a freaking stud. Oh buddy, oh that's like a four pounder. I am losing my mind right now, you guys, look how tiny this creek is. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, let's go. I'm pumped, I'm pumped, get ready. Get ready for this, come here. That is a stud. Look at the size of this bass. Oh my God, this thing is so big. Don't come off, please don't come off. Please don't come off, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. He's barely hooked too. He's barely hooked. Got him. <laughs> Are you joking? Oh wow, okay, well. Who needs the slow anyway when you've got freaking creeks juiced up with big bass? You have got, look how this, oh my God, he's barely hooked. He like just barely had the nut rig. Damn it, I've got my scale, but it's all the way back there. I was like on a total foot recon mission right now. In a creek, this isn't even a creek, it's a freaking ditch. All right, I'm gonna give him a little rinse, he rinse. What a freaking fight that was. This is why you explore. Google Maps is your friend when it comes to uh, bank fishing missions and seeing as I obviously don't have my boat because the whole trolling motor fiasco, I'm still able to find some juicy little nuggets and some areas where there's big fish. Like that is not a small fish by any means. That is a stud. Look at the mouth on that puppy. Freaking perfect too. This fish has probably never been caught before. Just getting ready to spawn in some of these tiny creeks. This water's fairly warm, a lot warmer than the main lake. And uh, he's doing his thing. Wanted that Ned rig. <laughs> Just look at that. That is badass. I can't believe that. That's obvious. That's honestly one of my biggest creek bass I think I've ever caught. Um, I just want to do a, a slow pan of what I'm fishing right now. It's nothing. Like there's a pinch point right there. There's another pinch point right there. That fish right there is the king of the spot. I say that, but there could be like a freaking six pounder up ahead. Let's just keep fishing. I am cashed. That might be the hardest I've ever worked for one fish. At the very least, it was one very large fish. I don't know exactly how many miles that was, but if I had to guess, it was probably five going there. Yeah, but uh, I've learned very swiftly that uh, exercise is important, kids. Even if you are an angler, it still matters a ton. I truly enjoy this kind of stuff. Like, I would take that fish over, like, 
30 dinks or 33 pounders off of the boat. I know that sounds really stupid, but there's something so amazing about the adventure and going after a fish like that on foot that uh, makes it all worth it, you know? In, in case I failed to show you guys what that lure was that I was using back in the creek, here's what it looks like. This right here is the deadly schmedley Nuddly. It's uh, one of my go-to creek staples when I'm fishing clear water for finicky fish. That right there is a prime example why it's important to throw smaller, more finessey presentations in clear water creeks because it truly matters. Another lure, of course, that I like using in creeks like that is a slim shake or just a drag and drop on a jig head. But uh, I primarily don't use anything else. I tried that swimming today. I didn't catch any fish, but I have a pretty good feeling about it on my next creek adventure. Anyway, you beautiful jeets, I am going to crank the living titties out of this AC and uh, find a Jamba Juice so I can bathe myself in a mango passion fruit smoothie. I am hot. It is hot here in Texas and I love it. Where are you at, Spawny Bass? I'm in neutral right now, okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. 